we're standing here in the uh, Alvina Gala block, uh, which we planted in 2017. In that year, we decided to do a, the opportunity came up that we could do a rootstock trial. I decided to, to plant those and see which would be better um, as a rootstock for replant. In this block, we've got uh, some supporter, uh, also JM1, JM7, CG202 and M26. This block was was uh, pulled out in the in the uh, 2017 year of 2017 in the May and then replanted in the September. So no fumigation. Extremely happy with the with the results of all all of the um, well the JMs, both JM1 and JM7. JM1 is probably preferable. The JM7 for me is a little bit vigorous. So uh, looking in this block, JM1 supporter and also CG202 uh, all about the same vigor, all look great and have done basically from, from the year of planting. The M26 is, is definitely a lot smaller and hasn't grown as well. This year is in its uh, fourth leaf and um, the trees had uh, 100 fruit per tree on the all of the uh, JMs and supporter and uh, and CGs, but uh, the M26 was probably uh, they were down about 80 fruit per tree on average. Uh, so yeah, a lot lot better result with the with the other the other uh, trees. Uh, I think the M26 might catch up, but it might take a, a few years. There's mm. looking at them for next year. There might be a little bit of an uplift in in fruit volume, but. Mm -hmm. uh, we possibly should have uh, should have left some or not had as had a bigger crop on them this year and, and tried to let them grow again for another year. Uh, whereas the the JMs and CGs are um, yeah, there's going to be a, a lot a bit more of an uplift on on the fruit that we can carry next year mm -hmm. and also into the future. But uh, the JM7, yeah. We might have to do something to control that within the space in another couple of years. They're looking a like they've got a little bit more, a little bit more go. Both the JM ones and the and the CG202 is what I will prefer. Um, I'm trying to get uh, CG202 at the moment, so we've got about 20,000 trees uh, coming for the 2022 planting, and then hopefully for our future plantings after that, we'll possibly be all. 202 or JM1. This is a perfect example of a rootstock demonstration block that uh, we see um, that is important for uh, APAL um, to get going around the country. Growers can come into sites like this and see a range of rootstocks from um, you know, a range of uh, providers, you know, in this block here we've got the Cornell Geneva 202, we've got Supporter 4, we've got JM1, we've got JM7 alongside M26, all in a replant site and it's been a, it's a really good demonstration of the, uh, the positive attributes that the JM1, the JM7, the CG202 uh, bring to replant orchard sites um, and we, you know, we as APAL want to be able to get Sites similar to this established around the country so growers can really see firsthand what this is all about. This is, uh, was extremely important. I mean, I, uh, I thought that uh, 202 was the rootstock to go with, um, but that was only a thought uh, after seeing it overseas. Uh, to have it here in our own soils and in our own climate is, is great, and now I've got full confidence that it's a great stock for, for us. <laughs>